Aha! Good morning everybody. It is the end of July. I think it's about the 25th or the 26th today. And I've just come from a short walk from my house in the village of Stragglethorpe just to have a look at the first field that I've got next to the village. And it is a sea of purple. And here we are. It's about 12, 14 acres. But there is purple as far as the eye can see. The reason for that is we didn't get this in in the autumn or the spring and it's good agricultural practice to put a cover crop in and this time we've used phacelia and I've got several hundred acres of phacelia. There is meant to be some buckwheat in there as well as well as linseed and that is deep rooting and it's sucking the moisture out of the ground in preparation for the next crop. And also we took the opportunity and this is the reason there's lines through the crop to use the mole plough. The mole plough is used solely to aid, aid drainage and has got nothing to do with cultivation at all. The mole plough we were pulling through here has two legs and at the foot of the plough of the blades there is a bullet shaped expander about four inches in diameter and that makes a hole in the subsoil goes across the backfill of the land drains and makes an improvement to the drainage. Not as though we actually we have any problem with drainage in this field, but it's a good opportunity to do it. And the sad thing about all of this, I'm out here and there are no bees. In the past when I've had small areas of phacelia, they have just been hundreds if not thousands of bees and there's none. Even though the village I live in is just across there, it is deadly quiet out here. Not a hum of a single bee, no butterflies, no hoverflies, no lacewings, no insects at all. On that note, from sunny Lincolnshire, bye for now.